Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, it's a fun one. We're gonna do some unboxing. So I've been able to get this box off a guy off Facebook Marketplace just around the corner from mine. He was doing a mystery box Funko Pop uh, sell. So 12 pops for $50. It was working out to about $4.16. Now, these Funko Pops in the shops, they go for about $20 a piece. So I'm already thinking if they're not horribly damaged, there's gonna be some profit to be made. Now, if you don't know what Funko Pops are, they are these toy um, collectible figures. Um, generally out of movies and TV shows is the range that you can collect them, uh, I guess, from. Um, so yeah, look, they can be worth quite a bit of money. If production stops on them, the value really does go through the roof. So it's always literally a bit of a mystery as to what each one's worth. And I like to jump on eBay and check the value of them to work out how much I'm gonna make, just like anything when it comes to reselling. So I'm gonna open these up with you today. I've got 12 to go through. I don't know what they're gonna be or how much they're gonna be worth, but we're gonna have a look together. And up here, I'll whack the profit as I go to see how much I'm making. But remember, $4.16 for every single one I find. So $50, hopefully it's well spent. Let's jump into it and hopefully we've made some money. All right, guys, let's get into it. Hopefully I don't damage them with the knife. So far, so good. Well, there's definitely 12. We have got 12 Funkos. So I don't know where to start, but I'll, uh, I'll grab the first one. Now, I'm not a massive Funko man myself. Like I don't really know too much about them. I just know that some of them are worth more than others. So if any of you out there are avid uh, Funko Pop collectors, I do apologize because I am pretty, I guess, basic when it comes to my knowledge in, in what these uh, are actually worth off the get, uh, which is why I'm gonna put them up in the, in, the, um, in the little, I guess, top corner here to show you. So um, let's have a quick look. The first one that I've got is this guy. So it is a Hellraiser 3, uh, number 360. It's a glow in the dark, which I know the glow in the dark is actually worth a little bit. So this could be a, first, a good first one off the get. Um, so it's Pinhead. So I'll put Pinhead just up here for you guys to have a look at now. But hopefully with that glow in the dark, he might actually be worth a little bit to start us off. Now the condition is pretty good. I always like to look to see if there's no like dents in, in, the, um, in the plastic and there's no sort of jabbed edges but it's not too bad i think he's pretty much spot on the money there when he's saying you know nine out of ten condition there's a little bit there but oh look all in all i reckon this one's pretty good so glow in the dark first one up really good condition pinhead number 360 put him there uh the next one that i've got is borderlands emperor claptrap i have no idea what that is but he is in good condition. Borderlands number 208, Emperor Claptrap. So, yep, pretty happy with that so far because he is in good condition. That's pretty much the biggest thing I'm looking for at the moment because I know if they're in good condition, um, you know, they're gonna be at least worth $20, I'd imagine, like they are in the shops. So, yep, we'll see how we go with that one. I'll hopefully the comps are showing some pretty good numbers. Uh, the next one that I've got is this one. So this one's got a little sticker on it here. It says special edition. Now, I think special edition could be worth a little bit as well. It does have the price tag. So there's the $20. So that's normally what you see in the shops when you're buying these. This one is the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, it's a Marvel character. So Cosmic Ghost Rider, he looks pretty mean. Um, hopefully the comps are showing up some good numbers there, but he is in immaculate condition. I really don't have a problem at all with this one. So. This one could be worth a bit. It says special edition. So I'm thinking this one could be probably the best of the three so far. Well, unless that glow in the dark one's popped up with some good numbers. Um, so that's the third one, the Cosmic Ghost Rider. So far, so good. The next one is South Park, the Coon. The Coon. So this is, um, it looks like Cartman off South Park, but he's like a raccoon. Um, so it's, uh, it's also got a sticker as well. So. This one actually says the 2017 Summer Convention Exclusive. So Summer Convention Exclusive, this one might be worth a little bit because it's from a, 
it's from a specific convention. So that might be worth a little bit more in the comp. So I'll, I'll have to say, I will say on this though, that there is a little bit of damage. Um, so there's a bit of damage there. So I don't know if that's going to be the full price that you're going to be seeing up here. I might need to dock a few dollars off for this one because it does, there's, there's just a tiny, there's a few marks up here on it that probably, it's probably not quite nine out of 10. I'd say this one's about an eight out of 10, but that's okay. Um, hopefully he's all right because he's got a pretty cool little sticker there. Uh, the next one is a le oh, it's okay. So this is Stranger Things. Um, for anyone that's watched the show, Stranger Things. Uh, this one is eleven with electrodes, and it's also got another Funko twenty seventeen full convention exclusive. So another sticker there, which is I think hopefully a good thing for us. Um, this one's number five hundred and twenty three. It does have a little tear in the top corner though. I'll show you that. So yeah, I. I know with these Funko Pops that as soon as you get some damage on them, um, they really do sort of drop in value. So whatever the numbers are popping up there, I, just with that corner damage, I think I might have to drop this by a few dollars, but hopefully it's worth a little bit. Everything else looks pretty good on this box. Um, so yeah, Stranger Things, that's a good one. A lot of people watching Stranger Things. It's a good TV show on Netflix at the moment. Um, what have we got here? Freddy, oh, Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger, so this is pretty cool. Uh, Freddy Krueger number two, A Nightmare on Elm Street. Now I know with a lot of Funkos, there are variations that you need to look out for as well. So um, also I know with the stickers they're important, but just the different types, you can get a few of the same one. So another website to go and have a look at is uh, Pop Price Guide. So you can jump on Pop Price Guide, search their database, uh, that's an authentic sort of Funko Pop website and you can get some pretty accurate pricing. I'm not sure if it's US-based pricing or if it's US sort of um, demand for the items, uh, which is why today I'm putting up the eBay pricing because eBay Australia, it's local, it's probably a bit more accurate um, and it shows what's in demand out there from people who are actually buying as well, which the Pop Price Guide does do, but um, hopefully this one's worth a little bit. I'll have to do some proper comp searching on him to make sure I've got the right one. Um, but the box looks pretty good too. So far, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the box condition for everything. Um, Freddy Krueger number two, hopefully he's a good result. Um, oh, another horror one. We've got Chucky. So Chucky number 56. Now, I do know with the Chuckies that you can get the bloody version of the Chuckies and they can be worth a hell of a lot more. So the bloody version, he would normally have a bit more blood on the face there and that would shoot the price up quite a lot because there's not too many of those made. Um, this guy is the original, no blood on his face. So I know he's probably not as worth as much. And he does have slight, you can see that little mark there. So believe it or not, that is enough to probably drop the price quite a bit on this guy. So he might just be a 15, maybe a $20 sale. Remember I've bought these though for $4. So I'm still pretty happy with the condition. Um, so yeah, that's another one. We've got Chucky, number 56. All right, five to go, guys. We've got a horrible box. Uh, this is probably the worst condition box we've had, but it is Trapjaw. So Trapjaw off Masters of the Universe. Um, it does have a sticker on it. It says Funko Specialty Series, uh, limited edition exclusive. So if it wasn't for the shoddiness of this, look at that, that's horrible. And there's another tear up the top there as well. So. That's a shame because I reckon this one could be worth a little bit of money, um, trap jaw. Hopefully the comps show that, but I just think, yeah, this with those two tears up in the top corners, this one's probably gonna be not the best. Um, so yeah, trap jaw, uh, Masters of the Universe, we'll see how that one goes. The next one is, okay, so Hannibal Lecter. So we've got Hannibal Lecter number 25. I do know with Hannibal Lecter because I have sold a couple of these before. There are quite a few variations with um, with the Hannibal. Um, so number 25, Silence of the Lambs, this one. So Silence of the Lambs, no sticker on it. The box is in really good condition, so I can sell this one pretty much as new in box. Um, the other thing as well, guys, as you're looking at these, please do let me know in the comments below if they do look like a fake because I know that... People do get scammed out there with fakes quite a bit, and I hope all of the ones that I've put up today aren't fakes, uh, because I'm, I'm not sort of skilled in, in that area. I know there's a lot of good videos on YouTube that show whether or not a pop is fake or not. I don't really know how to tell exactly, um, but they, I mean, they all look pretty genuine to me so far, and they are all in really good condition. So, 
Um, Silence of the Lambs, Hannibal Lecter. We'll see how that one goes. The next one is another Stranger Things, it looks like. So we've got Will, Will of Stranger Things, number 426. Uh, so Will looks like he's in pretty good condition too. Um, there's a bit of a mark there, a the, bit of a mark along there. It's not too bad. There's no dents or anything, no tears in this one. Uh, but probably, yeah, he's probably right about nine out of 10 condition on it. But uh, it looks quite good. Maybe that's, what, that's gonna be worth a little bit. Two to go, guys. Two to go. So I reckon it's been pretty good so far. We've had some, we've had some good ones. Um, there's been some stickers on a few of them, which I think is always going to be a little bit more money. So hopefully the numbers are adding up well for me there so far. Um, I have no idea what this one is. This one could be anything. I don't even know how to pronounce this name. Sith, Sithlu, Sithlu, Master of Rayleigh. I, I have no idea what that is, but. It does have a glow in the dark. So glow in the dark, always worth a little bit more. Box is in really good condition as well. I'm pretty happy with this one. I'm pretty happy with this one. I don't know what he's gonna be worth, but being a glow in the dark and maybe a bit obscure, not knowing the movie or, or anything like that, he could be worth a little bit. It says books, so it must be a book. And it's probably from the looks of it, it's probably a horror book. Um, so yeah, second last one. Hopefully that's a good one. And the very lucky last. So hopefully this has been a good video and I've actually had some good ones pop up because if they're all worth about 10 bucks, I'll be absolutely shattered. But I'll put the video out regardless. Whatever they work out, so the video is going up. Um, the next one, the last one is, what do we got? 11 with Egos. 11 with Egos. So we've had a few Stranger Things in this box. This is number 421. There's a little, oh no, corner damage isn't too bad. Um, this one looks in pretty good condition to me. So, 11, where that goes. I think it's the second 11 that we've had. Um, we had the electrodes earlier, so there's a couple of good ones there, I reckon. That one's a pretty good one to finish us off, I reckon. I know Stranger Things is pretty popular. Um, so that's the lot, guys. I've got them all here. Um, empty box, nothing more in there to show, so. Hopefully the numbers up top are, uh, are having a, go, a, a good look at things um, and there's gonna be a few dollars made there. Remember, I only paid 50, so I've only paid $4 uh, pretty much per, per pop. Um, so if there's gonna be some money made, that'll be a great thing. But um, if not, I hope this uh, video has been a fun one. Uh, remember to give this video a like and a subscribe too, guys, because it really does help the YouTube channel. We're up to about 340 subscribers and I wanna get to, five, I wanna get to 1,000 actually by Christmas. So if you can give this video a subscribe, if you've got anything out of it, um, give me some, uh, I guess, ideas as well for some more YouTube videos. Um, I like, don't mind doing this sort of unboxing style of things. Um, I'm gonna jump into the listings. I wanna get these straight up onto eBay, whatever they were saying they were worth, I'm gonna list it at that. And then hopefully in the what sold videos on Sunday, which is what I do every single week, where I show you my sold items of the week, um, you'll be able to see some of these that have sold for a few dollars. So. Um, look, fingers crossed it's been a good one today, the unboxing of the Funko Pops. Um, if you've never done the Funkos before, I definitely recommend that you have a look into it. You don't need to buy a mystery box like this. Um, you can simply have a look on Marketplace or eBay and try and find items like these that are actually just under the true value. So if you're on Marketplace and they're selling them for $10 and on eBay they might be worth $50, um, then by all means go ahead and, and buy a couple and just see how you go. But what I will say is the most crucial thing is that you need to really make sure that they are in great quality and great condition because people collect these and they don't collect the actual toy inside, they collect the box and everything else. So um, you've got to make sure that you're doing the right thing. And also when, you, when you're putting the price down, you've got to make sure that you're getting the right item because like I said, there are so many different variations of Funkos out there uh, and they all, or every single one of them has a different price point. So you really want to be making sure that you've got the right sticker or the right make, the right number, whatever it is. Um, and also too, look out for fakes. Um, some of them I think are a little bit more obvious than the others. These today haven't looked too bad, but like I said, comments below if there have been any uh, pretty bad fakes and I'll, uh, I won't put them on eBay or I'll pull them down if they are because I don't wanna be selling fakes uh, out there. So uh, thanks very much guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. A little bit different to what I've normally done. So let me know if you like that style of video and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks guys.